Okay guys, so I had my road trip this weekend. Kayak, broke a strap, bounced off, half off the trailer, hit the tire here, and caused this hole. I'm about to try and see if I can plasti weld it back. I've got some buckets and a heat gun, a torch. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I also have access to a soldering iron if I need it. I'm gonna clean this up first, see what I can do there. I'll show you guys what I'm starting with after I get it cleaned up. Okay, y'all, so here's what I've got now. I tried to leave all the plastic I could in there, but there was some of it that was just burned up, kind of like that, that I went ahead and cut out. It's for super thin there anyway, so it's basically what I left there is just to kind of help me keep the shape. Keep in mind, I've never done this before at all. I watched some YouTube videos on it and that's where I've came up with this. I talked to a good buddy of mine, Tim King, that gave me some advice. But other than that, I'm just kind of winging it. I mean, I already tore the kayak up. This is a Hobie PA-12. I mean, I've already tore it up. If I mess this up, I still got a shot to take it and have somebody to fix it. If not, I didn't lose anything. I already tore it up, so. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here in just a minute. I'm gonna do a little section first and try it. Then I'll show y'all on another section. Okay guys, so I've got it about three quarters of the way patched up. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm doing it right here on this last little section right in here. It's hot. One of the key things to doing this is you gotta do a spot and then come over here and work and then let those two spots cool off and then come over here and work here while them cool off. And then you just keep working to your cool spots. And then once you start getting it tied together like this, you have to let the whole thing cool off as you go around it. But it's, I'm trying to get it where you can see down in there. I've got it almost an inch thick all the way through there. And I've made sure and keep where I'm working hot. Say if I'm working here, I'm keeping this hot while I'm putting the plastic in it, but I'll show you in just a minute how I'm doing it. All right, y'all, so what I'm doing is, you can see I got a hole there. I'll just take this and lay it up here. Try to get it where it'll stay. I can move it in a minute, but I'll get my torch going. And you have to keep this cooled down. So you have to do this and then let this whole area cool. But I'll take my torch and I'll get up here and I'll get that where it lays in there about right. And then I'll heat that top up and just kind of let it melt down onto the other plastic. Just like that. And it'll lay itself down. All right, and then as that's laying down like that, it bonds itself. So then I can come back here and I can do this and I can let this section melt and you don't have to melt it right then. It'll melt itself as it lays there. And I just heat what's sticking up from the top back and it's continuously melting itself down into that other plastic. Just like that. Then I'll throw a little bit of heat right to it and just let it do its thing there for a minute. You can watch it, it's slowly falling. And then I'll come up here on the top side and I'll hit it just a little bit. And it's gonna run downhill, so I try to work this area in, then I'll come up here and I'll work this top. And where the hole's at, I'll melt that just a little bit and watch it, and it'll start drooping down. And that's what I want, I want it to droop down just a little bit. There it goes.
Now I'll let all that cool back off and I'll just repeat the entire process probably right in here, but I'll use a smaller, thinner piece of plastic when I get up here on this top because it's already built up so thick. I'm trying to get it to be an inch thick throughout the entire hole is what I'm trying to do. But I came this far back over my, my I overlapped it by like a couple of inches all the way around, some places more. And then uh, after I get this, I'm gonna come back over it. I've got this pipe here and I've already tried it a little bit. I'll heat this entire area up, just the surface of it. And then I'll take this pipe and I'll just roll it and smooth it all out. And then when I get finished, I'll cut me a piece that covers the entire area and then just take my, I got a heat gun over there. I'll take the heat gun and I'll melt that sheet over top of the whole thing. And just let that entire sheet lay right over it. But I'll, I'll come back and show you guys another section when I get this cooled down. All right, so I got one little hole left right here. And then I'm gonna build this bottom section up. But when I put this piece in this top, I don't know if I can get it to pick it up. See how that's angled up? I'm gonna set that in there like that. I'm gonna use my screwdriver here. I'm not very coordinated, so. See? But I'm gonna try to use my screwdriver to hold it in place. It ain't gonna work. So I'm just gonna use my finger to hold it in place and probably burn my fingers right here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt that in and melt it up here get this hot and then I'll stick it to it like that just enough to make it stick to itself then I'll melt this in down here in Now that it's gonna hold itself, I'll come up here and I'll melt this top. Now while that's still hot, Come get me a small piece to overlap that with. I'm gonna force that down in there with it, just like that. And I'm gonna just heat this piece that I just put in there. in the top I didn't see it didn't blend there it goes got a low spot right here so I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill that up while I've got that area hot.
I didn't let it cool off enough. And if you can tell where my hole was right there, has sunk back in. So now I gotta let all this cool back down and then I'll have to add some plastic into where that hole sunk in, which it won't matter. It just makes it thicker in that spot. I got a low spot right here. It's still too hot to work. I've got a low spot there. I could probably work that low spot, but it's still a little warm and it's right beside where I just worked. So I'll let everything cool back down and then I'll come back in and just start filling in my low spots. I'll show y'all one or two of them while I fill them in. And then we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, so it's, uh, it's the next day. It got dark on me last night out here. I've got one more area. I don't know if y'all can see from there, but I got one more area. I'm gonna add a little plastic in. And then what I'm gonna do is I got a uh, wood rasp here. You can see where I've ground on it some a little bit, but it's just like a really rough file. I'm gonna take it and grind down any high spots. And then I've got what's left of my bucket here. And I'm going to uh, cut a patch and cover this whole area. But what I'm gonna do when I do that is after I put this plastic in, I'll take my torch and I'll get this whole entire area hot wherever that patch is gonna cover. And then I'll lay the patch over it and then I'll take my torch and I'll heat the patch until it melts into this. And uh, see if that'll work. I don't know if it'll stick or not. I've got some areas that didn't stick real well. I'm gonna go back over with a torch and remelt too, so. But I'll go ahead and uh, get me a patch cut and let y'all watch as I put this last one in and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I got me a little piece cut I'm gonna put in this low spot. Get my torch lit. I don't know how good you guys are gonna be able to see. I can't see what's in the camera. I'm just gonna hold it in there. I'm gonna use this other smaller torch. That one's getting it too hot too quick. This is just a little butane torch from whatever gas station. It's a more concentrated heat. And what I'm doing, I concentrate the heat toward the middle and then work my way to the edges. Probably should have cleaned this bucket before I did this. And you can see all the black stuff bubbling up to the top. I don't think it's gonna hurt nothing. end of the day we're just melting plastic so and it, like I said before if you mess it up all you got to do is pull it back out and start over I mean it's no big deal I'm gonna go ahead I got a low spot right here while I'm here working I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece in it I'm just cutting this with a pair of 10 snips And you are gonna get burned doing this, guys. It's inevitable. You could probably wear gloves, but.
and I'll just let all this cool. I don't see any more low spots. That don't mean there ain't any, but I'll find it when I go to grinding on it with that rasp. And if I find any, I'll add some more plastic after this cools down and I rasp it off. I'll add more into any areas that I see. All right, y'all, so this side's not hot. This side over here still is. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what this rasp does. It's kind of aggravating to use, but it grinds it down real quick. Knocks all the real high spots down, which is basically all I'm worried about. So you just take it, and it's a real quick, if you try to push it slow, it just digs in. So you wanna just do a real quick light. See how it just digs in if I try to go slow. spot way out in my kayak there but I can take a heat gun to that and fix it too so long process which i was warned tim told me it wouldn't be no fast speedy thing to do this said it was going to take me some time and it has but it's okay good little after work project i ain't gonna get over in here no more till that cools down worked on a couple evenings after work and it's saved me some money and taking it to the shop to get it fixed when it, when it happened, I actually thought I'd ruined my kayak, so. I'm actually really happy with the way that side's turned out so far. Get y'all a little better of a shot of what it looks like where I've ground it down. You can see the little rasp marks in it where I've took the file to it. You can see where I've hit it way over in here, but I'm gonna heat this all up after I get this side cooled down. I mean, it's cool to touch. I can lay my hand on it, but it's still too hot to try to grind with that rasp because it'll just peel if I do that, if I let it cool down till it's completely cold, it grinds it off really well. But once I get this side ground down, and if I've got any low spots, which I may have one right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, there's a little low spot there. But by the time I grind this hump down and this hump down, it probably won't have that low spot anymore. So I need to grind this one down to flush. Once I get this half to look like this half, I'll heat the entire area up with the torch. And I'll use the big torch and get it all hot. And then I'll have a patch cut out of my bucket to cover the entire area. It'll probably come somewhere in here. You know, I'll leave a little bit exposed. That way it seals to the actual kayak plastic, not just the plastic I put in. And then we'll be ready for the water. But I'll check back with y'all here in just a minute when I get this cooled down and grind this other side. All right, y'all, I'm pretty happy with that after I got it ground down. There's a few spots right in here that don't look like they're melted together real well, but I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun and see if that pulls any of it together. If not, while it's good and hot, after I heat it up with the heat gun, I'll uh, take my torch and hit it just to make those areas seal together a little bit. And then I've got a patch cut that I'm gonna put over top of it 
and I'm just going to melt the entire patch down. It's got a little bit of stuff on this side, but this side's pretty well okay, so I think it'll hold. And this is mainly just kind of a extra insurance, I guess you'd call it, just to make sure that the patch don't come out in any way or anything like that. But I've got my heat gun here. I'm gonna turn it on the, the high setting. And then I'll just start heating and get this whole area good and hot. But I won't make y'all watch the whole thing of me heating this up because it's gonna take a while. So I'll be back after a bit hot. All right, y'all, so I've got my area heated up under this patch. And I'm just started at the top. I'm just kind of letting that patch fall as it wants to, heating it from the top down. But this area under it is extremely hot, like I can barely touch it, so. And I cut my patch a little big, so whenever I get down into here, I'm gonna cut it off a little bit. And what I'm doing is there's a line right there where it's hot and melted down. And I'm making sure to keep the edges extra hot because that's the part that really has to seal. This other, it's really just a guard, but the edges are what's going to take all the abuse, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off if I can do it without tearing the patch completely up. And I don't know if y'all can see in the camera or not, but I'm heating this part of the plastic as well. You can see it just lay itself down there.
But I'm gonna just go ahead and heat this up all over again. I ain't gonna make you guys watch that, but I'll be back to show you what I ended up with. All right, guys, I've got the whole thing really hot. I mean, I've got it hot back up into here. I actually got it probably too hot. You can see there's a little dent right here. There's also one over on the other side in the same spot. That's because of the type of rollers I had on my trailer, on my previous trailer. But I've got a little steel pipe here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll these edges just like you was rolling with a rolling pin, making batter or biscuits or something. I'm forcing down pretty hard with that. There you have it, the finished product. It's got a lip around the outside that I'm not really happy with, but I don't think it'll peel off. I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna try to flake it off if I can. But we'll uh, take it and try it out tomorrow. I have my uh, 24 hour competition for the King Cat, which is our national championship for kayak catfishing. And uh, I'm taking on Justin Johnson from Kayak Catfish Head to Head. So we'll uh, we'll try it out. I'll be on the water for 24 hours, so we'll find out if it's gonna hold or not. We'll catch you guys in the next video.